Paris. With such a stacked up lineup of games and new consoles in 2020, it's tricky to pay attention to some of the more indie titles released. While these games may go under our radar, I'm glad QV was brought to my attention. This charming puzzler does its best to stand out as one of the more focused and inviting experiences within the genre. QV is a strange name for a game, but what's even more strange is the protagonist, whose name is pronounced QB. Unusual name aside, QB is your typical cute anime archetype armed with a magical scepter. There's a bit of an Alice in Wonderland vibe about the whole premise and presentation, but rather than meeting a crazy cat or a mad hatter, QB ends up befriending Varen, a penguin with an emo fringe. The lore and writing aren't too fascinating, but the presentation is charming enough to be memorable. QV is an isometric puzzle platformer that largely focuses on finding the exit. The process of doing so changes up as players go from stage to stage. Even early on in the adventure, it's clear QV doesn't necessarily stick to one style of puzzle solving gimmicks. QB's scepter can do various things, so each level is more about making use of whatever gimmicks are presented, most of which are intuitive and self-explanatory. Puzzle elements can involve linking portal gates, using magical ink to walk over water, hopping on switches, jumping into warp points, and of course, moving lots of cube blocks around. None of these scenarios are taxing, and as the game progresses, both the locations and puzzle designs change up nicely. With the theme stages are other platforming systems. Additionally, things pick up as Varen becomes playable adding a new layer of existing puzzle scenarios. Later on, another buddy character joins in to keep gameplay elements from feeling less repetitive. What's a little confusing at first is seeing the easy mode locked for each level. Thankfully, if players struggle on a puzzle on normal difficulty, simply attempting the puzzle will unlock the easy version. There are higher difficulty settings too, which provide high replay value for each of these puzzles. More than just a variety in gameplay challenge, the other appeal in QB is that it's a collectathon, which allows players to unlock some neat extras such as outfits for QB. The graphical style of QB QV is rather simple and the art style is quite familiar, giving the overall presentation a soft appeal that is easy on the eyes. What shines about the experience most is the soundtrack, as it captures the charm of chiptune music using more modern methods. It doesn't take long for the infectious bass beats to kick in and get players tapping along. If nothing else captivates you, then at the very least, the music will loop in your head and make you want to commit to the puzzles. There's nothing overly problematic about the experience as puzzles rarely get frustrating, especially when there are so many difficulty options and the overall vibe of the game begins so friendly. Although deliberate, QV's basic movement can feel cumbersomely sluggish, but this isn't necessarily a deal breaker. Some of the writing and production values do land on the amateur side, but it all generally comes together nicely with the inclusion of the catchy music. QV is one of those games that ticks all the right boxes for its particular niche. As an isometric puzzle platformer, there's little like it at the moment, and so it manages to have an audience even among so many games released. It's a comfortable and well-designed puzzle romp, complemented by some genuinely catchy tunes. The general vibe of it is charming and relaxing, and it has something for everyone. Whether you're a puzzle fan or simply curious to try something different, as a breather between bigger releases. Newsy Pixel is giving QV an 8 out of 10. Thank you for watching. Please read the full review at NoisyPixel.net. NoisyPixel is run by a group of gamers who work hard to deliver news, reviews, previews, and more. Please subscribe to keep up with all our future content.